All right, what's up and welcome to the channel. My name is Hegshot and thank you for joining us for our first look at the brand new Walther PDP, uh, Walther's new pistol here. And before we get into it, the case is kind of cool because what they've done is they've mimicked some of the features on the brand new gun with this texturing and these serrations here. So just wanted to point that out. Let's go ahead and check this thing out and see what the new pistol looks like. You guys ready? Let's check it out. All right, so foam padded, all that kind of stuff. We'll go through a little bit of this. Of course, you have the gun, two 15 round mags. Basically, you have three versions of the gun. You have the compact version that I have here with a four inch barrel. You have a full size with a four inch barrel that's an 18 round mag. And then you have a four and a half inch version, four and a half inch barrel with an 18 round mag as well, okay? Super modular, you can uh, swap those slides around on any size frame, so that's pretty cool there. Of course, this one has the 15 round. They're all chambered in nine millimeter at uh, the time. Uh, as of right now, they're chambered in nine. So it comes with this little plate that covers the uh, optic there that I'll show you here in a second. It's gonna come with a couple of backstrap options. So of course you have like medium on the gun. Then you have a large option that has more of a beaver tail and then more of a flatter option as well. Paperwork and all of that good stuff. So let's kind of get that out of the way and show you the star of the show here, the new Walther PDP. So one thing that popped out to me instantly was the serrations. So what they say is, you know, most pistol serrations are actually cut into the slide. They've actually raised these serrations off of the slide to give you uh, a super positive uh, feeling and engagement with those uh, what they call super terrain uh, serrations there which are just they feel amazing uh, really really do like that it gives it an aggressive custom look but also super functional so really excited about what they did there um, obviously I put the Holosyn HS 507C so your your pistol plate your first one is actually free with the gun so you basically, you know, there's a little QR code you can scan, tell them which uh, optic or red dot you decide to put on there. This plate was for a Trigicon RMR. Um, so the Holosyn, you know, will line right up with that just if you are curious about that. So this is their new trigger that they put into the gun. Uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek of that here in a second. Uh, Americanized standard magazine release. All right, so they started doing this on the PPQ. Uh, and, and, you know, for the American market, it just makes sense. It's super intuitive. Most guys are used to that. So there you go. There's that. And it is reversible. And then they have this very aggressive... Um, stippling on the grip. You have this honeycomb style shaped with these uh, almost like a, a triangular shape that comes to a point on each one of these little circles here. So feels really good in the hand. Uh, whatever kind of climate you may be in or whatever you may face in your particular area, this does a really good job. So where the PPQ was more of a subtle, not really aggressive, but it kind of Balance, had a really nice balance there of comfortable and, and, and subtleness to it. This is just full, aggressive, keep the gun locked into your hand, no matter what kind of firing you're doing or what kind of conditions you may be in. So that's pretty cool right there. And of course, you have the two 15 round mags. On the front there is just a little bit more of a standard style uh, serration. All right. So it did retain uh, a couple of the awesome features from the PPQ, one of those being the ambidextrous slide stop. So really do like that. And it does come with adjustable sights straight from the factory. So if you don't want to uh, put an optic on there, then of course you can uh, adjust these sights straight from the factory. They, they do not co-witness though. Last thing I'll show you in this first shots before we do the full review is a look at the trigger here really quick. Normally I don't do this, but I definitely want to show this to you because this is pretty cool. It's an improvement on the PPQ, uh, if you can believe that. So basically you have a little bit of take up here. You hit a very defined wall and it breaks right there. Reset and you're ready to go again. So. This is a pistol I'm super excited about. The PPQ was amazing, but this looks to be a huge improvement over the PPQ. So once we get the full review done, we will, of course, bring it here to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you very soon. And as always, holding down.